right hello i'm going to go back to my 12 12s um i'm going to brayer them with um well it started off as i've done this was it well, maybe 18 months ago i can't remember i'll link the um video in the description box of what i've done before and i really did like the result now you can do this with gesso you can do it with what you want to do it with really um long as it's you know water soluble <laughs> no gloss paint um but this is um we call it emulsion white emulsion which you do walls and things like that in your home so household paint preferably uh, water-based household paint cheap as chips really this was white okay and i've got these that i got from the scrap store like some testers i've mixed that one in mimosa mimosa okay which is like an off-white okay um this one was white scatter but it was an off-white okay so i've put that in and then i still wanted it was still a bit light so i had a bit of this this walnut color here not very dark when it comes out um, and i just squirted a little bit of that in that just to get like a creamy tone rather than a white one so that's got rid of two of those and i bung it all in here so that is now rubbish <laughs> i've got about 20 of these things that i got from the scrap store so i'm going to use this yeah i'm not going to use my gel plate just in case i haven't tried motion paint on my gel plate and i don't think i'm going to so i will just brush it on brayer it over and i've got 20 sheets some are double you know what do you call it on both sides yeah and just some are single some are thicker than others I just literally went through, I sorted out, there's probably about 100 sheets so far. I've still got, but my 12 by 12s are coming down, which is great because I've been using them a lot in um, gel printing and things like that. So this is just going to be a, a base for future projects. I'll do maybe do a little series on doing something up that we can add to our journals out of these pages, yeah? So this is the prep, really. All right, now you can use gesso and do exactly what i'm doing with gesso okay don't go buying any paint but if you've got any in the house white emulsion and um, maybe if you need to add a little bit of color to warm it up if it's white but white is still okay um and you haven't got anything uh use maybe a bit of acrylic just i don't know just do a little test bit that's what i always do with things i'll test it and then i'll you know do a little tiny piece of paper like that no i'm not spoiling anything and then you again you can record that in your little book yeah so i am just going to go for it okay i literally am and oh protect your worst work surface well yeah actually this is quite thick so i'm hoping it's going to be all right i've used my old brayer i think that's my old one I'm not sure And these sort of ones, I'm literally going to make sure it's totally covered, if you know what I mean. And protect your floor. If you're putting them on the floor. <laughs> protect your clothes. <laughs> yeah, because this one, I don't really want to see any, any of the pattern. So, actually, it might be better if I take them off. And then show just to make sure I don't want to see any of that. I mean I won't use it. You know, I used to do a bit of scrapbooking. I thought I was gonna do a bit and bought loads of stuff years ago. I've done most probably a couple of books up. And yeah, didn't didn't do it. Wasn't for me. I got bored very quickly with scrapbooking, I'm afraid. I'm sorry folks, but I did. So Right. You never know, we might have some nice paper here as well after. Right, what I'm gonna do, just gonna remove some of that paint so, so that's better. 
stick that on there and then take it off okay this one by the looks of it might need another coat okay but i don't want it saturated in paint i'd rather do that and then reapply yeah but that's fine so i shall um i'll do a couple more for you and then i'll go ahead and just do the lot and then we can come back and make something out of one of them when they're dry okay I mean, if you've got a sponge, cheap sponge brayer, you know, that you actually use on the walls, that'd be fine too. Just quicker doing it with the brayer. Let me know if anybody's tried emulsion on the um, or household paint on the on the gel plate. I'm a bit scared to do that actually. <laughs> I know I've got an old one, but I still like like my old one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than using um just so. This is just all the prep, you know, of um, when I can do things. And it's nice if you've got a load done and you just put them away and get them out. You can coffee stain them and everything. You know, I mean, you can do them, coffee stain them before if you wanted. No problem. Just, I'm just doing it this way today. Sometimes I've coffee stained some and then I'll do this. And then sometimes I'll coffee stain them after. It really depends whether I've... Um, and the coffee stain in if you know what I mean or what I've been doing so so I usually come in my studio and the first thing I'll do is I'll put the kettle on for a, a tea staining mixture and I usually do oh, a few pages you know pages like every day only because my heater's on at the moment so I can dry them and then of course I'll do it in the summer as well when it's nice outside and I might just put them by the door there and they dry so You know, you don't want to over lag the paper with the paint because it will become a bit brittle. But I think this household paint seems to be okay. So, here we go. So, that's I'm going to do all of them exactly the same, like that. So, I shall go ahead and do that. And then, work, work from there. And I'll have a look at a couple and maybe make some things just to pop in the journal you know just sometimes tags sometimes flip things sometimes inserts you know we'll just do what we can out of a 12 by one on um, like one video i'll do one 12 by 12 and then make a, a literally a set out of that one page to go in a journal or you know that's happy now <laughs> sorry i forgot to say if you haven't got a brayer <laughs> I don't know, just brush it on or you can sort of blob it on like this, like I do. And then just use a credit card. I need a stiffer one than that. I've got, okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my well-used credit card. <laughs> okay, see, I 
do that anyway. And then you can do this for quickness, yeah. And then rebrush it on after. And then get it going. It's a little bit um, liney this one because it's very old. But okay, but this is quick. Yeah. You might have one of those um, sponge sponge um, rollers, you know, that you actually put paint on. That would work. If your paint's a bit thick or anything, just water it down. It's all water soluble. Right, and this one, I'm going to place another page on the top okay and that will get give um, a bit of texture as well so okay that's a painted one And just do that bit here because this is looking quite good. So just pick that up. Okay. All right, so we've got a little bit of that left behind, but that's that's cool. We can work with that. All right, these ones are dry. Okay, so I'll show you these. Okay, all plain now, and I would use these, and it, honestly, it feels great. It really does. Okay, I'm not worried about the backs because some of these I'll make into pockets and things like that. This was a very dark one, and but I like that because the pattern was sort of vintagey, if you know what I mean. So, but that I would keep as is. Yeah, wouldn't try and cover it all. But these are the ones with the words on and everything, and they're great. And uh, no idea what was behind that one. Oh, that's a like a yeah, spot slick. You can see that, yeah. But these are they, these are a bit thicker, so I won't be using a thick one today. I'll just use one of the thin ones. They, those were the like the happy birthdays. And you can't really tell now. So there, another one there. That was a load of words in that one. That's a stripe, so that one's a bit thinner, but that's okay because, you know, some of them I can. It was the words ones I didn't want my happy birthday on to see. So, you know, I just put a bit more paint on those. Right, so what should we do today? Um, I think I'll do like um, a tatty insert. I think I'd done one a few years ago. Right, that's a nice thin piece. So that one to go, I think. Or there's this one. No, I'm going to use that one because we've still got a few words sort of poking through there. So we can just see if um, I need to cover anything up again when I'm doing it. Yeah, I did do 20. So, and I'll put them in my stash. Now, right, i done one of these tatty inserts, oh gosh, maybe two years ago. I'll link that video below anyway. I mean, it was, I done, I think I'd done it out of... Um, book pages so what I'm going to do um, because I want it folded up in half I'm going to do one the height about four inches yeah and then that will leave me well, it could be four and a half actually that'll be nine and then that'll leave me three inches um, I'm just thinking actually it'll be four and a quarter okay because I'm thinking that I have a bit left for the tags to go in the actual pockets. So I'm going to fold that over there. And what have we got left? Yep, three and a half. That's cool. Let's make sure it's all lined up. Okay. Do, I'm going to trim that down, but I'm going to trim down the width as well because that that's going to come off, yeah. And that's too wide. 
So I reckon, let's have a look, um, four and a half, nine, nine inches, I reckon will be perfect. So I've got, tell, I've got the wrong trimmer here, haven't I? <laughs> let's mark it. <laughs> Folded the other way as well. <laughs> it's just that's it. Put in here now, you see. Just a little bit by the look of that. Oh, I'm not gonna, still a little bit too much for this, but I mind, we shall work it out. That's okay. Over there okay right I'm gonna trim along there as well okay I'm just gonna go and do it with my big trimmer all right because it's not just to make sure everything is level as well all right because um I was it was a little bit off the end on my other one and I'll be back okay I've done that all right and I go down about three quarters of an inch should we do that yeah I think so so I'll just fold over there right. and then I'll fold this one back on itself to match that one okay okay and that is going to go there right okay that's a pocket like so so far all right i'm going to you can either line this yeah or you can tea stain okay i'm going to line it today with some thin paper i think yeah and then that's the other side we can decorate that that's our pocket okay yep music paper it is Music paper, dictionary paper, anything like that. I've actually got some bits that I might use. That might be all right. It's here. It's... Okay. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, you don't want anything too thick because this already is um, quite strong now. You've got the paint on it, so. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. That's okay. Just make sure I like that. That's okay. Same the other side. Take the lid off, Andrea. Don't have to go right the way through at all.
see. That's upside down. <laughs> Oops. Get it right in a minute, folks. Oh, don't want those. Okay, that's fine, and then we'll do the same on, on this one here instead of coffee staining today. So, might as well use up some paper. I'm a bit short. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so, that one will fit. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to ink up here. So, I do want it the same, even though you don't see this side. It's, or unless you have it, of course, in the... Um, middle of the signature and to ink this up I haven't got any of those pages tea stain. That was my last bit, so never mind. We can make do, and that's what's what's good. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, perfect. And then just ink up that a bit as well. Yeah, I might just have to trim a little bit there. Look, okay, I can do that in a minute before I stitch it. And then we stitch it that way. And that's going to be our pocket in there and there. Yeah, and then we've got this, okay, which is that's going to fit in there lovely so these these two will be the insert and they will be done up yep oh my gosh it's working out okay now and that looks okay so yep right so all i gotta do is i'm gonna stitch mine down the middle okay if you were gluing okay you could glue um along here and along there right Glue these down, of course, or you can 
stitching done and then leave a tuck spot. It's up to you. And, you know, I will cover this with a bit of stamping and everything. I'm just looking whether to use that as a little tuck. I think I will, you know. I'm going to leave them open. Okay, I'm going to just wait for that to dry. And I'm going to just stitch it. When I stitch it together, that'll stitch those two sides down. And then we've got a little tuck spot here. Okay, but I'm still going to ink up this. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and stitch that. And then and see what I've done. Okay, that's all stitched around. Okay, so here's our pocket. In there. And oh, on my last one, I did put Tyvek down, but that's because I only used thin book pages. Okay, these these scrapbook pages are fine. All right, and there's a pocket there. Right, now to do with, you know, there's still bits left here and I don't really want bunny candy showing. If it was a bit of a pattern, it would be okay. All right, so I'm going to get your white acrylic will do or just get a bit of gesso and I'm going to use a bit of that and I'm going to coffee stain a little bit as well on the inside there. So just just touch up a bit more, okay, with a bit of gesso or something like that, okay. And this is why I love gesso. <laughs> okay. It has so many uses, so many. But um, the emulsion paint's great. That texture on that is absolutely brilliant. I'll dry that off a bit okay you still see it a bit now if you was using napkins and everything that would be covered over yeah but I am not using napkins today I'm going to use a bit of tea stain and a bit of stamping so but I have no idea where I've put my tea oh there it is it's actually coffee it's not tea okay so oops here we go do that I've shown you how I do it before and loads of things but I'll just dab a bit off okay I'll have a bit down here and then I will dry that okay it's not ready. right if you're unsure of how your paint will react with the tea stain okay just use a bit a spare bit of this maybe you know and just try it and have a look yeah and see how it reacts with the paint that you're using all right if it doesn't re react very well then think again <laughs> oh dear i get in such a mess let's clean up a little bit oh, yeah yuck need some more wet wipes folks just get this bit glue here. Let's scrape that off later. Okay. Alright, but now you don't see that writing DA so much. Yeah, at all. Okay, now this is going to be, I've got a little bit of a tuck spot here. Okay, but you don't have to do that. It's just, that was just me wanting to do that. But I am going to do a little bit of stamping. I'll have that one there. Okay, again, you don't know how you, the ink is going to react, okay, to what you're using. So you would go back to your bit, preferably this is dry, and then you just try it on here. Okay, so I'm going to use Vintage Photo. That's the archival ones. I 
then you just you just try it on there yeah and you think well actually that's not bleeding that's not you know that looks okay and there we go you've got you've got your test piece instead of doing it straight on there and it not working okay which way up because i don't need to do it all really that might do actually Over stamp, Let it go on here. <laughs> okay, and I'll clean off my stamp on here. Now we've got, that's that's perfect. The tone of that is absolutely brilliant, honestly. And it feels really good. Yeah, so we shall work on this one now. So again, it's gonna be tea staining and a bit of ink, I think. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ink up first with vintage photo. All right, that's actually quite strong. But we are using a bit of water, so I'm not worrying too much. Right, and I'm going to sort of go in there a bit. And then we'll do a topper for it. So let's blend that all in. Yep. And we will then spritz with water, and uh, water, um, tea stain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cool. And then let's dab it up for quickness. It depends how dark your tea stain is. If it's not very dark, then you, I would leave it all. But mine's okay. I'm going to have to um, restitch that bit along there, look, because I have nylon thread, I forgot, okay, and it burns really quickly, so I will have to just stitch over that, but that's no problem at all, because it's raggedy. <laughs> Let's get that the right way, and over there. That's great. Right, okay, and I'm going to just stamp a little bit around the edges, so, again. And I'll go to the archival for that. Okay. And it is literally around the edges because I don't need to, um, because I'm going to have a topper on them. I mean, it could be a pocket, another pocket. And this is where you could add a bit of colour if you wanted, yeah? But I actually don't want to. <laughs> so, I'm actually happy with the way it's looking. You know, if it wasn't, you'd just put some colour on. But we, we'll do that in coming weeks. We're changing the colour and everything. Okay, I'm just going to go and restitch that bit there. Okay, I've restitched around that. Okay. Um, right, I've gone, I went and got my nature bit box instead of what the things I'm working on at the moment because with with um, these sort of videos I like to just go to my sort of bit box and look and you can see what I mean, it's just ridiculous or well, I'm keeping those for when I do purple medley, I thought they would look nice, I might be too close actually, no I think I am, Gosh, blinded you there. Let's go in. Yep. So this is <laughs> one of my book boxes. It's it's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, I've got about three like that, I think. So 
I want to eventually <laughs> sort it out. This is one of the boxes I haven't sorted out. and put all my tickets where I've got them in my plastic pots now. But I'm going to work through here, through this eventually. Oh, that's the, like the tag, not tag kit, the other one that we, me and Tracy done. I can't remember. <sighs> anyway, one of them. Um, but I did find these. And I thought, oh, the other ones, because I looked at the other video when I made this, I, I thought, oh, yeah, mushrooms. I haven't used mushrooms for ages. So there's some that I've got left from my nature one, so I might use some of them. And we'll go from there. And some bits of paper. Okay, you can do them individually or you can do them similar. But if it's in a journal, you don't really see they're not together. Okay. But I might sort of do it together-ish. Yeah, so I've got some of this that's been gessoed. It's just like the paper you use for baking. Yeah. And I thought I'd have my straight edge towards the middle there. And what I do, I'm not sticking these down. They're not identical, if you know what I mean. Because if I want to stitch around these things before I glue them on, I can. Yeah, but... I thought something like that. Oh, and then I've got one of these um, that my sister just stitched. So that might be going on here as well. Just sort of across the spine there, which would be quite nice. Um, what else? Oh, I, got, I did get two tea bags out. So I'm not sure whether to have some music paper as well. Yeah, I think I will. Right, let's ink that up. I'm going to leave that as is. And just do a little bit. I don't want too much. don't need too much ink on things like this. So I am going to stick that down. Is that the right way? Yeah. Just in the middle for a minute. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. But... something like that and then a bit of a tea bag what I might do is just glue that down there okay, for a minute And I've got these Tim Holtz bits as well, which I really like. I'm just not sure what I'm doing. Let's have a look. I quite like that. And do we want that? I can't like... I'll see about that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether we need it. Right, I like that, the way that is. So that is going to be how it is and that covers that not very nice bit of the tea bag so and to be honest I don't think we need any stitching on that nope A little bit of ink on here. Okay. And we can glue behind where that paper is, yeah. 
and then I will glue on that bit there. Okay. Right, see where this tea bag here is just sort of lifting a bit. What I do is I just sort of got very a little bit of glue. Okay, and then just glue those down just so we don't see the glue. Stop. Oops. Maybe a little bit on this one here. Okay, I think that's okay. Yep. All right, so that would go in general like that. And then we've got here, and then we've got to make the tags to go in there. I might use those, yeah. <laughs> All right, and that, oh, that was that cut in half, yeah. So I think I've just got to just trim a bit off. Let's have a look. I have. Okay, so it's about that much, I think. Okay, these will need backing because it's, you know, it's not doubled over. But that's that. Let's just check that they fit and look okay. Yep, perfect. And they will go in there. Right, just do this up a bit first and I will back them on some coffee stain card i think um let's ink up first oh <laughs> i tell you what this um um what do you call it emulsion paint is absolutely amazing for um getting hot you know grabbing hold of inks and things it really is and i totally forgot that i'd inked up my sponge but that's all right we can add a bit of water in a minute. Okay. Do a little bit of water first, see if I can pick some of that up. Okay. Right, see what I'm doing there? So it's blending really nice over that paint, yeah? This is a wet wipe that's a bit damp because I made a mess of it. <laughs> so get some of that off and then redo it. That's great. All right, it's just too much on here. and then we dry them off okay there we go so as you can see nicely buckled and people do talk about all oh, my cardstock um, buckles and things like that it's not a problem because we're going to back it 
you know but if you if it's still warm you can actually maneuver it now yeah okay right so i'm gonna back mine first before i go any further but that is looking cool yeah and that's the one with all those words on i didn't really like so shall i no i'm going to back them first and then i'm going to stamp okay and i'm going to i'll be stitching around mine okay so just got to find some card <laughs> okay i mean i'm what you back it in will it most probably will determine you know how how thick this is this is just very thin scrapbooking paper okay this is about 160 gsm all right and it's not too thick because we don't want it too bulky yeah but these will be glued down and cut around and stitched around yep and then i can just remake the hole yeah because i'm not doing much more um work work with water it's um I'll go up there. it doesn't have to be too thick Not that bit left, look. Oh, I know what that could be. That could be little tags to go in there, look. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> I think it's going to be right. Okay. Well, that definitely will go there. Then we can say, oh, that's all out of um, 12 by 12 piece of paper. <laughs> so, right, I'll just put them in there for now. And make sure it's the other way. <laughs> okay, let's go doing these. And these are looking great, aren't they? Okay, so... They're all backed. All right. And um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the old trusty, because I want to keep this quite flat, um, stickers. I think, oh, should we do a bit of background stamping? I think we will. Yeah, we'll carry on with the same theme. Um, vintage photo, wasn't it? That worked out quite nice. And if I'd have thought about it, I would have done the other two tags at the same time as these. Now I know that it's, everything all fits together from a 12 by 12. So that's no wastage. Except for when I can um, get these off. <laughs> it's 
because I need to actually bend my head forward and then <laughs> you won't be able to see anything anyway because my head will be in the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, rip that one, but that's all right. might use that on there, you know, because I do want to use it. we got here that might be right but put that on. I'm just putting anything down at the moment this is I was in that big pot of mine <laughs> there then some nice trim colorful then right I would I was going to cut these up and they are gonna go in there all that way I'll have a look oh I have got another bit there as well that that's the bit that's left over that's not too bad is it so oh well a little bit for something else <laughs> So they can either go in that way or that way. I actually like that way. Should we keep it all neutral on this one? I think we will. Just do exactly the same as what we've done. And the other ones. And this could be that you could have um, lined paper on the back of those. So I'm just going to add a bit of that. Coffee, that. dry them off. Okay, and I'm going to add some lime paper to the back, stitch around, and then we can decorate them. Right, okay, let's do a bit of stamping. Not that one, no. Do this one. Yeah, I'm running out of time now, so. doing a bit that's all and then let's have a look see what that looks like okay oh ink up the edges 
I use this. <laughs> so, okay, right. Two of these. I shall link the videos on little snippets I do. We've got loads of videos on it. So, oh, I didn't show you the back, did I? I've done them. Um, that's a index card on there. So that one go there. Um, you could put that there, but um, I would like something coming out here. So, okay, don't know whether I've got any left on there. It's a bit yeah, perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, like that. Then some stuff coming out here and we're done. Okay. I just added some fibres on the ends here. All right. And so they're all in there. And then added some words on here. Okay. And that is quite a good tone on tone one, isn't it? Yep. So we'll start adding colour and everything like next week. I mean, you could still add colour to this if you wanted to, because you could cover this and just splash a bit around. But I actually don't want to because I do like tone on tone. Yeah. And that's the other side. Okay. Now leave all this. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is that's what we had left over from the 12 by 12 piece. And that was that one with all the um, bunnies on and all the writing. We wouldn't know, would you? So no, not at all. Okay, well thank thanks very much for watching and I'll see you sometimes next week with another one of these. Okay, bye for now.